2.32. Last Friday, Steve, a businessman from Seattle, was looking forward to a relaxing two days in the mountains. He and his wife had arranged a skiing weekend in a luxury hotel. But the weekend didn't work out exactly as they had planned. Steve worked until late on Friday evening. His office was on the 12th floor. When he finished at 8 o'clock, he locked his office and got into the elevator. And he didn't get out again until Monday morning. I pressed the button for the first floor and the elevator started going down, but then it stopped. I pressed the button again, but nothing happened. I pressed the alarm and shouted, but nobody heard me. Most people had already gone home. I tried to call my wife, but my cell phone didn't work in the elevator. I couldn't do anything. I just sat on the floor and hoped maybe somebody would realize what had happened. But on Saturday and Sunday, I knew nobody would be there. I slept most of the time to forget how hungry I was. Meanwhile, Steve's wife, Kate, was waiting for her husband to come home. I was very worried when he didn't come home on Friday evening, and I couldn't understand why his cell phone wasn't working. I called the police, and they looked for him, but they couldn't find him anywhere. I thought maybe he was with another woman. So, Steve was in the elevator the whole weekend from Friday evening until Monday morning. At 8 o'clock, when the office workers arrived, they called the emergency number, and somebody came and repaired the elevator. I was very happy to get out. I hadn't eaten since Friday afternoon, and I was very hungry. It's lucky that I am not claustrophobic because the elevator was very small. The first thing I did was to call my wife to say that I was okay. Steve will soon be the fittest man in his office. From now on, he's going to take the stairs every day, even though it's 12 floors.